Hello students, today again we consider the vertical circular motion. We have to derive relations for velocity at some general point say P point here on the vertical circular motion. Here it is shown anti-clockwise motion along the circular path. Already we have derived relations for velocity at A, at B, tension at various points. Today we are going to discuss about the point which is any point P on the circular path. Here for the circular motion we have considered the lowermost point B is nearer to the ground. Its distance from the ground is considered as 0. Now for the horizontal level point C and D the height is taken as R from the ground. Uh, for the point A, H we have taken as twice R in previous discussion. Now for the point P, the distance from the ground is denoted again by H. Here this point of intersection here is Q. Now if we show the angular position of this P as by theta is it makes angle theta with the vertical then for the point P the height H can be written here this OB it is equal to R radius OQ from figure it is R cos theta therefore BQ which is the height it can be equal to OQ OB minus OB minus OQ it is equal to R minus R cos theta it is equal to R inside the bracket 1 minus cos theta. This is the H. This relation we have to use in the discussions of the problems as well as the explanation of kinetic energy and potential energy. Now here we have to right for VP. So here we consider VB is the speed at lowermost point, VP is the speed at point P. By using the expression kinematical expression V square is equal to U square plus twice AS. For vertical motion it is V square is equal to U square minus twice g h so here final velocity is vp vp square is equal to u is initial velocity vb square minus twice g h vb square minus twice g r 1 minus cos theta so this is the relation for Vp square. Now for the kinetic energy we write kinetic energy at P can be written as half into m into Vp square. It can be equal to half into m inside the bracket substituting this Vp square we get Vb square minus twice g r 1 minus cos theta this is kinetic energy at point 
P. Suppose Vp square is denoted by equation 2. This can be denoted by equation 3. Now potential energy also can be derived by the basic formula mg into h m into g into r 1 minus cos theta substituting from equation 1 we get equation number 4 is potential energy at point p now we can write the tension but for the tension we have to modify the figure so tension can be shown in this way it is tension at point P here for the point P mg is the weight vertically downward it can be resolved into two components here P we show here along the string the component is here is theta it is mg cos theta and perpendicular the to the string the component is mg sin theta so here if we take the resultant it is like this tp minus mg cos theta it is equal to m into vp square upon r Tp is equal to mg cos theta plus mvp square upon r. So this is the relation. Also we write it by substituting Tp is equal to mg cos theta plus m upon r. And Vp square can be written as the Vb square minus twice Gr side the bracket 1 minus cos theta. So this is the modified equation. So four equations we have written. One is for velocity, other is for kinetic energy, potential energy and Tp. This equation, all these equations we use in solving numericals and short answer questions. Now we have to solve one problem here. Uh, but for the problem, uh, that problem is related to vertical circular motion. We have to use such relations there. Oh, I can read the problem here. So, this is the solved problem in the textbook. But we make some steps more and easier. So, first part of the problem we read. A tiny stone of mass 20 gram is tied to a practically massless, inextensible, flexible string. And whirled along vertical circles. Speed of stone is 8 meter per second when the centripetal force exactly equal to force due to tension. Calculate minimum and maximum kinetic energies of the stone during the entire circle. So this is the question. We have to calculate maximum and minimum kinetic energies. So here we start the solution like this of the problem. And given values we have to write first here. We write given values. So first given value we write as 20 gram mass. M is equal to 20 gram. Also speed is given. M is given like this 20 gram it can be in kilogram 20 into 10 is to minus 3 kilogram speed is given 8 meter per second but this is the speed 
when centripetal force is equal to tension and this is the condition for horizontal level points so in the previous lecture we have discussed that for horizontal points like c and d tension is exactly tension provides the centripetal force or centripetal force is provided by tension at this point it is given therefore it represents vd now again in the last segment it is given g is equal to 10 and length of string is given 1.8 meter uh, g is given it is 10 meter per second square and length of string is given L is given but we take it as R it is equal to 1.8 meter so such values are given in the problem here these are the given values so from these values we have to calculate the maximum and minimum kinetic energies so I write the question here mvb square which is the maximum kinetic energy to calculate and mva square is the minimum energy minimum kinetic energy we have to calculate so simple problems are asked here uh, here we use law of conservation of energy for the calculation of maximum and minimum kinetic energy so you know that when we go up kinetic energy is converted into potential energy so here change in kinetic energy is equal to the change in potential energy or we write here increase in potential energy Here change in kinetic energy we write it is the decrease in kinetic energy and you know that decrease can be written as half mvb square minus half mvd square because we have considered the points b and d because vd is given Therefore, here we can write consider points B and D. Half MVB square minus half MVD square increase in potential energy is M into G into H minus M into G into 0 potential energy at the ground level or uh, we take one more step here uh, potential energy at d potential energy at d minus potential energy at b so this step we get here like this half mvb square minus half mvd square here m potential energy at d is mgr and potential energy at b is 0 so we get half mvb square is equal to half mvd square plus mgr half m can be substituted 20 into 10 raised to minus 3 into vd is 8 so 8 square plus mgr is 20 into 10 raised to minus 3 into g 10 into 1.8 so we get here 0.64 I have already calculated it it is equal plus 0.36 so here 1.8 into 10 is 18 
to 2 and adjustment gives us the value like this so the addition becomes 1.00 joule so this is the kinetic energy maximum can be denoted maximum so this is the first answer now the second answer we can calculate by taking the points a and d that is the second part of the problem so consider points a and d no, sorry. A and D. Here, for the minimum kinetic energy, we take the two points. A and D. For that, we write the change in kinetic energy means decrease in kinetic energy it is equal to increase in potential energy the same case we are considering half m v d square minus half m v a square is equal to Potential energy at A minus potential energy at D. Half MVD square here potential energy at A can be written as twice MGR for D it is MGR MVD square. Uh, half m v s half m v d square minus half m v a square now taking half m v a square and adjusting the step we get half m v d square uh, twice m g r minus m g r it is plus m g r and it can be subtracted from the other side rearranging the terms half into substitution gives us 20 into 10 is to minus 3 into vd square is 8 square minus again 20 into 10 is to minus 3 into 10 into 1.8 so we get here again 0 0.64 minus 0 0.3 6 we get here uh, 0 0.28 joule this represents half mva square and it is the minimum energy that we have to solve this is the second answer of this problem now we have to read the next part of the problem so the part is like this uh, let theta is equal to 0 let theta is equal to 0 be the angular position of string when the stone is lowermost point so that uh, position we know determine angular position when the force of due, force due to tension is numerically equal to weight of the stone so this is the question so for that we consider the situation like this the p point we have to consider in such a way that tension is equal to exactly equal to the weight so here we consider the position p in the diagram like this here is the point P now initial position is B theta is equal to 0 new position is theta on this circular path 
for this point we have to derive the angular position means theta we have to calculate but the condition is when t p is equal to exactly balanced by mg this is the condition so in both the parts of the problem conditions are given again you can read it like this here when uh, determine angular position of string when force due to tension is numerically equal to weight of the stone the problem is simple but uh, some steps we have to modify here so tp we know t relation of t is like this t p minus mg cos theta this we have already derived it is m v p square upon r t p is equal to t p is equal to m g we have to substitute this m g here m g it is m g minus m g cos theta it is equal to m v p square upon r so v p square m v p square upon r is equal to m g one minus cos theta. So v p square is equal to here m m will get cancelled. We get v p square is equal to r g one minus cos theta. Uh, this vp square we have to use uh, now again law of conservation of energy we have to use and we consider the point d and p so here we write considering points d and p new point p so for that we have to use vp so here vp square we write here for rg1 minus cos theta because we have to use it and here law of conservation of energy again we have to use so that the practice also will be there for the law so you have to practice it like this so in two or three problems you have to use this law of conservation of energy now change uh, decrease in kinetic energy is equal to increase in potential energy uh, half m v b square minus half m v p square is equal to potential energy at p minus potential energy at b here we must have to know v b so for that we have already calculated uh, we make here a side calculation like this half mvb square we have calculated as 1 joule so vb square can be equal to 2 upon m and m can be substituted as 20 into 10 is to minus 3 so it is equal to 100 therefore vb is equal to this vb is equal to 10 meter per second so this calculation we must have to do here like this uh, so that we can substitute over here now half m vb square minus 
half m v p square so v p square also we can substitute here half m and v p is equal to g r one minus cos theta is equal to potential energy at p here potential energy at p is m g into r minus mg r inside the bracket 1 minus cos theta this relation also we have taken uh, in the previous steps we have already discussed this mg r inside the bracket 1 minus cos theta this is the value for h and gr into 1 minus cos theta is the value for vp square from the conditions so we take half mvb square is equal to this side we take on this side means this term half mgr we take here in on the right hand side first we expand this right hand side mgr minus mgr cos theta this half mgr it is minus here it will become plus half mgr and in minus and minus minus plus on the right hand side it becomes again minus it is half mgr cos theta get 3 by 2 mgr and minus 3 by 2 mgr cos theta half mvb square is equal to so on both side mm will get cancelled denominator 2 2 will get cancelled we get vb square is equal to m into g can be taken common and it can be solved in this way here gr is there gr mgr uh, mgr uh, m m also we have cancelled m and 2 we have cancelled uh, 3 into gr minus 3 into gr cos theta we get vb square is equal to 3 gr inside the bracket 1 minus cos theta now again we have to make some steps here so this one up to this step you have obtained this step by considering points b and p and applying law of conservation of energy now here we have to substitute and find the theta how can we substitute it it is also simple and basic uh, i write here the same step here vb square is equal to 3 gr 1 minus cos theta vb is 10 vb square is 100 it is equal to 3 g is 10 uh, r is 1.8 inside the bracket 1 minus cos theta so 1 minus cos theta is equal to 100 divided by 54 this is 1.8 into 10 means 18 into 3 divided by here cross multiplication gives us this value uh, cos theta is equal to 1 minus 100 upon 54 is equal to minus 46 upon 54 is cos theta 
it becomes 0 0.85 with negative sign cos theta is equal to we can write here minus cos theta is equal to 0 0.85 cos of 180 minus theta is equal to 0 0.85 we have used here one trigonometric identity that one cos 180 minus theta is equal to minus cos theta so it can be written as 180 minus theta is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.85 180 minus theta is equal to uh, in natural cos cosine tables we get uh, value I have found it it is 31.8 degree therefore theta is equal to 180 degree minus 31.8 degree and the answer is 148.2 degree so this is the angular position theta when t is equal to mg answer is like this theta is equal to 148.2 degree so this is one lengthy problem in this chapter there are three total questions, three quantities we have to solve in this problem. But for the sake of practice, this problem is best problem in this chapter. So that this problem covers so many MCQs, so many short answer questions. So try to revise again and again this problem. Now we will stop here. Thank you.